Okay, so after reviewing the footage of Sonic Mania, and by the way, before this video starts, I was supposed to record Sonic Mania today, I promised that, but the content recorded, while it was decent enough gameplay, the commentary I was making over it, legit, all I could really say was, wow, so fast, gotta go fast, that's like the only good commentary I could make, so next week I will shoot another game, uh, during the war group stream, you probably saw it last night if you watched it. Uh, all the first four or five nights of Freddy's games are on YouTube or are, are on YouTube. Of course they're on YouTube, but are on Xbox Game Pass and I downloaded all of them. So uh, five nights of Freddy's, I guess, because I can't think of anything else unless you guys can think of something that I may already have. But yes, yeah, so. Enjoy me eating spicy chocolate, which I recorded almost a week ago, but just haven't been able to get around to editing yet. And then, uh, yeah. Watch me die from spice again. This is the spiciest, okay, I already did this bit once with the packy. Uh, I'm eating an extremely spicy piece of chocolate. And this is not a sponsorship. I just felt like this was a good reason to get it. Buying every one of these boxes of chocolates donates 50 meals to Feeding America. And I feel like that's a great thing. This, this one piece of chocolate was $20. But at the same time, uh, I think it says on here, yeah. 99 cents of every $1 raise goes directly to food and programs. Uh, also, not sponsored, uh, if you Buy this chocolate, record yourself, and then tag Fue at Fuego Box and use the hashtag Choco Challenge 2020. You can be entered to win a year's worth of free hot sauce. And again, none of this is sponsored. I just think that this is really cool. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> so, <laughs> the ingredients, <clears throat> they don't want you to know what the peppers are. And in a way that's scary, the ingredients are sugar, partially hydrogenated palm kernel oil and cottonseed oils, non-fat dry milk, milk glycerol lactoesters of fatty acids, soy lecithin, I feel like I pronounced that wrong, salt, artificial flavor, chili pepper, and 12 pepper insanity blend. I can already assume that there might be Carolina Reaper in this. I can already assume there might be ghost pepper and scorpion pepper in this. And this might just be me being cocky from the one chip challenge, but this is just a piece of chocolate. I doubt a piece of chocolate could be that bad. I, I seriously do. Uh, there's a warning on this one as well. Uh, do not eat if you have any allergies to spicy foods, nightshades, or capsaicin. Keep away from children. Do not consume if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, or have a medical condition. If you get burned up, try eating some bread or drinking some milk. Eat at your own risk, you maniacs. I'm not making that up. I doubt you can read it because why would you be able to? But yeah, that's actually something it says on there. So, uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and read the description. A marriage between good and evil. The hashtag Chaco Challenge is for the pain-seeking masochist who wants to join the fight to end hunger, but also has no regard for their own well-being. It's me. Our second iteration is fired up by an insanely spicy, unreleased 12 pepper blend exclusive to the hashtag Ho Chaco Challenge. I almost said Haco Challenge. Contains no extracts. So, I found out that almond milk can help with spicy stuff, so since I'm the only one that drinks almond milk, I was wanting to make sure the tab was off first. I'm not even gonna get a cup. I'll just drink straight from the half gallon because it's my milk. No one else is gonna drink it. I got tissues again. And just in case, I have uh, definitely not sticker torn off like 10 minutes ago to try and make these look like unbranded antacid tablets. And again, trash can off screen in case the worst were to happen, which is me spewing my guts. You must be insane to consume this pain. Wow, what are they, poets? <laughs> Last chance to turn back. My stomach is already turning. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. 
I did just eat dinner. That might not have been the best idea. But when are any of my ideas the best idea? It mostly smells like chocolate, but uh, I guess I could just use the wrapper. This is what it looks like. These are, this is just a big blend of 12 different peppers all shoved in to a piece of white chocolate. The challenge is to eat the whole thing. In the videos I've watched, the chocolate did not look this big. At all. <laughs> it, it looked a little over half the size, or a little less than half the size of this. <sighs> getting the milk right here. Getting the tissues right here. So, this is the Fuego box. Hashtag Choco Challenge. Uh, listen, I'm just glad that this donates meals to Feeding America, and I really hope I win that hot sauce. Into my mouth in three, two, one. It's getting there. There it is. Ugh. So the initial impact was nowhere near as bad as the Packy One Chip Challenge. Ugh. But it's building up a lot faster. A lot faster. Ugh. Hiccups. Uh, same as last time. <gasps> I want to try to last at least three minutes before tapping into this. And this time I'm not going to edit the video the same night. <gasps> so, whenever, <gasps> whenever I get done, I'm just going to take a big swig of milk. Here comes the spit. I'm going to take a big <gasps> swig of milk no matter what. I'm going to open up the tra <gasps> trash can so I can actually <gasps> throw stuff in there. I feel the snot starting to <gasps> fester in my nose. I was about to say this isn't as bad as the one chip. But it's getting there. So... <gasps> I think the reason... <gasps> That hiccup sits some of the spit right to the back of my throat. Oh god, that hurts. Anyway, I think the reason the chocolate wasn't as bad as the chip is because it's just that it's chocolate. Chocolate has milk in it, obviously. So, of course, with those peppers being surrounded by milk, of course, it's not going to have that much of a initial impact. Also, in case you're realizing, I filmed this in my room. Why? Because I wanted to. That and I stole the lamp in the living room because we got to make space for, for where we're putting our Christmas tree. And this was right where it's got to go. There's really nowhere else we can put it in the living room. That and we just never used it. So I just stole a lamp from the living room for lighting and I didn't want to move it back out. So instead I just took one of our folding trays, table thingies, tear. Oh no. It, this took a lot longer to produce tears than the, the chip. Which is good. That means I'm handling this better. So this is doing the exact same thing that the chip was doing. It's mostly the roof of my mouth now. I still slightly feel it in the back of my throat, but my tongue, I, I feel nothing on my tongue. It's, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure there's someone who's better at science than I am who can explain why I feel it more on the roof of my mouth than I do on my tongue. Like now, the pain's settled in enough. I don't know if I'm just used to spice now 
after eating that extremely spicy chip. I'm gonna keep comparing this to the chip, by the way. That was kind of my intention whenever I ordered this thing. <clears throat> but, the chip did last a lot longer. The buildup on this chocolate was a lot faster than the chip. It was much faster. Uh, initial impact, like I said, I think it's just because it was chocolate. The initial impact was not that big. Hang on, I feel some snot. But yeah, since it had milk in it, the initial impact wasn't that big. Buildup was way faster, but the wind down is also a lot faster. Um, yeah, this, this is definitely winding down a lot faster. I don't even know what the timer's at right now. I, I'm pretty sure it's been longer than three minutes, but I don't know. If you want to donate meals to Feeding America, 50 of them to be exact, and potentially one a year's worth of free hot sauce, but you don't know if you can do it, I would say that you might be able to do this. Again, I could just be a little bit more immune to spice now after the chip. I've already liked spicy things to begin with, so maybe that's playing a factor in this. But, yeah, this is, this is nowhere near as bad. So, this is going to be a way shorter video, 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 this is going to be a way shorter video. Why did I just throw a used tissue on my bed? Um, yeah, I can't really say much else, so... Not gonna drink milk on camera because I thought that this was gonna last a lot longer. I think me talking in the beginning of the video lasted longer than the spiciness. And I'm not trying to say that's a bad thing, because my god, this thing did feel like it was about to take me out in the beginning. But it it's fine. And again, my spice tolerance could just be higher. So definitely. Don't do this if you think that you can't handle spicy food at all. Obviously, it says that in the warning on the back, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. My lava lamp didn't even get a chance to shine. I mean, it's shining, but it didn't get a chance to like, do the thing lava lamps do. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mildly not as intense video of me eating a piece of chocolate. And don't forget, links to find me down below in case you wanna see what I'm doing outside of YouTube, which really isn't that much. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. And if anything bad does happen to me in between me recording this and then editing it tomorrow night, cause I'm gonna be busy pretty much all tomorrow morning, which is why I can't edit tonight. If anything happens between then, I will record it and I will edit it to let you guys know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!